Hello there, welcome back to Last Recaps. Before going into the video please do subscribe and click on the bell icon for more interesting movie recaps. Today I am going to tell a Korean drama thriller movie called Inner Prime, released in 2022. Han Jae-woo can't fit into a prestigious Korean high school, where the 1% gather. He was the brightest student in the old humble school, but here he is surrounded by geniuses and is one step away from the bottom of the class, especially in mathematics which is considered the most important subject for admission to university. Here, his classmates are rich, so they can afford tutoring and boot camp, but Jai Wu is on student welfare and can't afford such things. His math teacher, Mr. Kim Jun Ho, reminds him these grades won't be enough to get into a prestigious college and asks Jai Wu to consider transferring. One night, Jai Wu's roommates give him money so he can sneak out and get some snacks and alcohol for everyone. But on his way back, Jai Wu is caught by the night guard Lee Hak Sung. The following morning, Mr. Kim tries to get him to confess who else was part of this plan, but Jai Wu values loyalty and stays silent. This catches his classmate Park Bo Ram's attention, but also gets him temporarily kicked out of the dorms. After class, his roommates try to give him some money as thanks, and are shocked to hear Jai Wu doesn't want it, because they're friends. They discuss the possibility of bringing in late night snacks through other routes but this has been impossible since Hak Sung started to work as a guard. They call him the commie officer because he's a North Korean defector. Later, Hak Sung goes to see his doctor, who tells him working as a night guard isn't good for his health, and relying on sleeping pills causes his biorhythm to be off. Hak Sung reminds him that it's the only job he can get as a defector, so unless the doctor can get him a position somewhere else, he'll take the pills. Afterward, Hak Sung returns to his lonely apartment, where he spends his time feeding his turtle, drinking strawberry milk, and doing Sudoku puzzles. The following day, Jai Wu is kicked out of the dorms. Bo Ram teases him on his way out, saying she thought he could be more than a loser, but it seems she was wrong. A couple of hours later, Jai Wu has returned to his family apartment, which he cleans before his mother comes back from work. She's a widow that has always worked very hard to raise him, so she's very proud of seeing her son in such an important uniform. Not having the heart to tell her he needs a place to sleep. Jai Wu says instead that he only came to visit her, and he must return to the school before it gets too late. It begins raining on his way back, so Jai Wu tries to hide in the school's abandoned lab, but he's found by Hak Sung. The guard feels bad when he hears Jai Wu doesn't have a place to stay, so he invites him back to his office. While Jai Wu sleeps, Hak Sung finds the very hard math homework that Jai Wu couldn't finish. As soon as the sun raises, Hak Sung kicks Jai Wu out. The boy goes to his math class and is shocked to find his homework has been done by Hak Sung not only that, all the answers are correct. Bo Ram notices this and wants Jai Wu to show the teacher, but he asks her to keep quiet. After class, Jai Wu goes to thank Hak Sung for the help and asks him to teach him how to do it, but Hak Sung just kicks him out again. Later in the studying room, Jai Wu hears even his classmates' private tutors have trouble with some of these math problems, which indicates how special Hak Sung is. Jai Wu starts following him around, begging to be tutored, but Hak Sung won't pay attention to him. One afternoon, while he's taking out the trash, Hak Sung overhears the teachers talking about welfare students with uncaring parents and inferior complexes, and Mr. Kim includes Jai Wu on the list. When Jai Wu approaches him to ask for tutoring again, Hak Sung tells him it's better to transfer and that self-pity isn't a badge to carry, because it gets you fixated on tragedy. Jai Wu explains how angry it makes him that others can have opportunities he can't, so Hak Sung gives in and accepts to tutor him, he only asks for Jai Wu to pay him with strawberry milk. The next day, Hak Sung visits his friend and guy Cheol, who helped him come to South Korea, because he works as Seoul's North Korean defector support lead. Together they play board games and chat about life, and when guy Cheol gets Hak Sung the lamps he needed as a gift, Hak Sung insists on paying for them because he didn't come to this country for charity. When night falls, Hak Sung puts the lamps inside the abandoned lab so he can teach Jai Wu there in secret. There are three rules Jai Wu must follow. 1. Nobody must know about these classes. 2. No questions other than math. And 3. Hak Sung will teach math, but he doesn't want to hear anything about grades or tests. After Jai Wu promises to follow all the rules, Hak Sung gives him the first exercise. Finding the area of a triangle, Jai Wu solves it quickly, pointing out this is a middle school problem, but Hak Sung tells him he's wrong by drawing a full circle around the triangle, feeling tricked. Jai Wu thinks it's unfair because Hak Sung has given him the wrong question, 
but Hak Sung's point is that he's approaching problem solving the wrong way. Yes, finding the answer it's important, but understanding what the question is, that's what is even more important. Math is all about the process of finding a solution. When Jai Wu shows an understanding of the concept, Hak Sung calls it Epsilon, as he has a flashback of how a younger he and a friend received a fancy pen as a prize for their academic success. Epsilon means small and insignificant, trivial even. After the class is over, since Jai Wu still doesn't have a place to go, Hak Sung allows him to stay with him. Jai Wu discovers that Hak Sung loves listening to classical music on an old cassette player, so they chat about classical composers for a while, which helps Hak Sung avoid Jai Wu's questions about his past. The cassette is worn out and has a bad sound quality, so Jai Wu plays the songs on his phone, the quality of which fascinates Hak Sung and helps him sleep deeply for the first time in ages. In fact, he stays in bed until late the next morning, and when he wakes up, Jai Wu has already left for class. Mr. Kim has some important news for his math students. Instead of having finals, his class will participate in the prestigious Pythagoras math competition, which will count as their exam. The teens aren't happy about this since they only have two months to practice, but Mr. Kim expects them all to win gold. Jai Wu goes to see Hak Sung every day for math classes, and Bo Ram begins noticing how often Jai Wu purchases strawberry milk, almost as if he was an addict. One evening, there's a particularly hard exercise that Jai Wu needs to know the technique to solve, but Hak Sung explains he expects him to add it all up manually. Three hours later, Jai Wu manages to solve it, so Hak Sung shows him something special. Famous mathematician Bernhard Riemann calculated 38 decimals of the square root of 2 by hand to become intimate with the solving process, which you can't do by just memorizing a formula. This is greatly helpful when it comes to a better understanding of math. Hak Sung refuses to tell Jai Wu if his answer is right or wrong, because his homework will be to discover it himself. That's the job of a mathematician. As the weeks pass, Jai Wu improves his math skills more and more every day. One afternoon, he receives some devastating news. A close friend and fellow welfare student is transferring back to his old school, admitting having come here was never worth it. Now Jai Wu has some thinking to do about his own situation, and Bo Ram tries to hear him out, but he feels like she's making fun of him by saying they're in the same situation when she's actually a rich kid too. Their conversation is interrupted when Bo Ram's mother comes to pick her up. When they get in the car, Bo Ram is scolded for hanging out with a welfare kid. Bo Ram is technically on welfare too because of her divorced parents, but she isn't on financial aid, so it isn't really the same. Her mother also scolds her for listening to piano music because she wants Bo Ram to concentrate on her studies, so she's hired Mr. Kim to be Bo Ram's private tutor, which is illegal. Later that night, Jai Wu tells Hak Sung about his friend and wonders if he should transfer to. Hak Sung encourages him not to give up and reminds him the most important thing to succeed isn't intelligence, but courage to prevail until the end. To prove his point, he shows Jai Wu the exercises he corrected. While there are some mistakes in the final solutions, the boy has correctly learned the process to solve them. That same night, Jai Wu's suspension ends so he gets to go back to the dorms, but he admits missing sharing a space with Hak Sung. The next day, Bo Ram gifts him strawberry milk with an apology note, and when he gets distracted, she follows him to the abandoned lab and discovers his secret. After thanking Hak Sung for taking care of Jai Wu, she asks if she can come over from time to time, and Hak Sung accepts as long as she keeps it a secret too. Bo Ram also calls him Kami Officer, and this confuses Hak Sung he may be from North Korea, but he never served in the military. For a reason he doesn't bother to explain, he was exempted. At that moment, they notice a group of students sneaking around the campus, but having learned what happened to Jai Wu last time, Hak Sung decides to do nothing about it. Another evening, Jai Wu asks Hak Sung why he studied math so hard. He explains that at first, he did it for the scholarship and the sake of his family, but the more he learned about it, the more beautiful he found it, so he fell in love with it. Then, they call Bo Ram to join Hak Sung at the piano, so he can teach her a cool little trick. Assigning a note to each digit, the two of them make a beautiful melody by playing the number pi. During the next math class, Jai Wu corrects Mr. Kim's answer to an exercise, using the logic Hak Sung taught him about incorrect questions. However, Mr. Kim scolds him for it. The answer may be correct, but it's not what the examiner intended, and that's the only thing the students need to worry about. Giving the solution that is expected, not the one that is right. It's all about test technique, but Jai Wu doesn't accept this, and replies he'll still give the right answer on the test, 
considering him rude for such attitude, Mr. Kim makes him stand outside the door for the rest of the class. Afterward, Jai Wu informs Mr. Kim that he won't be transferring. In the afternoon, during another of Hak Sung's visits, Guy Chiel gifts him a smartphone, so he's easier to find. Hak Sung happily shows it to Jai Wu later, and the boy can't help noticing he's reading long theses on this tiny screen. To help, Jai Wu asks a classmate to sneak him into the computer lab so he can print the entire document and gift it to Hak Sung. The next day is the Pythagoras test. Jai Wu is doing wonderful thanks to Hak Sung's lessons, and while Bo Ram starts well enough by remembering the music, she soon gets frustrated. The pressure gets to him and he leaves the class without finishing the exam. His mother kept him at home to avoid embarrassment and lied to the school that he was going on a trip. When Jai Wu tries to call her, all his texts are ignored. In the evening, Jai Wu and Hak Sung go to a classical concert that Bo Ram got them free tickets for. Because her family's company sponsors it. Bo Ram never shows up, but at least Hak Sung enjoys it so much that he's moved to tears. Afterward, Hak Sung invites Jai Wu to have dinner at his place. Which makes Jai Wu realize this is the first time he sees Hak Sung eat. That same night, someone leaks the Pythagoras test on the internet, causing trouble for the teachers who now must find the student that did it, if they don't want the education board to fire them. Meanwhile, Jai Wu and Hak Sung go to a bookstore to do some shopping, and a stranger recognizes Hak Sung. This man also comes from North Korea, and calls Hak Sung doctor, remembering him from the days Hak Sung taught classes at the university he attended. The man also calls Hak Sung, the famous mathematical genius, and thinks Jai Wu is his son, which puts them in an awkward situation. Hak Sung thanks the man for the memory and rushes to leave the store, refusing to answer Jai Wu's questions. When he gets home, Hak Sung remembers the good times he used to have with his son Lee tae like having dinner together, getting the turtle, and buying strawberry milk because it was tae yeans favorite. The next day, some important news appears on TV. The Riemann hypothesis, one of the most important mathematical problems, is about to be solved by a famous North Korean called Lee Hak Sung. So far it's still ongoing review by a board of scholars. Professor Oh on TV tells the story of how he entered a math olympiad when he was a kid and met Hak Sung, who represented the North, while Oh represented the South. They both were given a fancy pen by a famous mathematician, and Oh still has it to this day. Both Guy Chiel and Jai Wu see the news, and it's Jai Wu that finds Hak Sung first to ask him about it. However, Hak Sung gets angry and asks him to never mention the Riemann hypothesis again. Meanwhile, Mr. Kim is having trouble with the test incident because his reputation is on the line. But when a coworker reviews the security tapes after a student passed on some rumors, he finds his salvation. The following day, Mr. Kim calls Jai Wu to show him the recording of him sneaking out of the computer lab with some printed sheets in his hands. Jai Wu tries to explain that it's unrelated, but he has no way to prove it. Between the tape evidence and the fact he magically became better at math in a few months, nobody will believe him, so Mr. Kim offers him a deal. If he accepts to transfer, he won't make his blame public. Sadly, the rumors of Jai Wu having done the leaking still reach everyone's ears, and Bo Ram gets upset about it because she knows the truth. Guy Chiel is having some trouble of his own, too. North Korea is angry that the South is taking Hak Sung's achievements, especially since these discoveries are tied to military encryption, so the NIS wants Guy Chiel to convince Hak Sung to appear on TV to clarify matters. Hak Sung's name is all over the news now, and an old colleague even visits him to convince him to return to the North together. However, he puts his foot in his mouth when he admits he's asking because bringing Hak Sung would earn him forgiveness too, and only manages to anger him by bringing up what happened to his son. Guy Chiel visits Hak Sung to apologize for not being able to keep the Nis off his back, but Hak Sung is still thankful for all the years of protection. While Hak Sung's packing to leave town, Guy Chiel returns to him the document with his research with Hak Sung, tried to throw away years ago, and Guy Chiel saved it, because it was too valuable to be trash. At that moment, Jai Wu arrives as well, but he decides to stay outside when he hears yelling. Hak Sung is angry because it was this research that cost him his son's life, so he refused to put it on TV. After Guy Chiel leaves, Jai Wu tries to talk to Hak Sung, but the old man only lashes out at him, refusing to accept they are anything closer than tutor and student. Afterward, Jai Wu gets a call from an upset Bo Ram, who doesn't understand why he's letting them frame him like this but he just tells her it's over and hangs up. In the meantime, Hak Sung arrives at the bus station, and when he thinks he saw his son's face on a random stranger,
he begins to remember the night Taeyeon died. After he got into another fight for defending fellow defectors, Taeyeon began arguing with his dad, accusing him of having escaped to the south for selfish reasons, because he didn't do it. When his mom was sick with tuberculosis, Hak Sung insisted he did it to give his son a better life, but Taeyeon pointed out that doing entry jobs and being treated like dirt was far from a better life for a scholar. After wishing his dad to enjoy his life with only math as a company, Taeyeon ran away and tried to go back to the north by swimming, but he was shot on sight by border patrol. Back to Jaiwu, he sneaks into his home to use her mother's stamp on the transfer papers while she's sleeping. The next morning, he hands the papers to Mr. Kim, who tells him he did the right thing. Hak Sung is hiding in a hotel while Guy Cheel searches for him to take him to the TV show, and he is surprised to get a call from Bo Ram telling him about Jai Wu's transfer. That afternoon is the Pythagoras Award Ceremony. Jai Wu is on his way out of the school, but Bo Ram suddenly arrives and drags him with her to the auditorium by stealing his stuff. Professor Oh opens the ceremony with a speech about the recently proven theory, and that's the moment Hak Sung decides to interrupt. Having rushed over to the school after freeing his turtle on the river, he presents his pen as proof of his identity, so Professor O receives him with open arms and allows him to give a speech too. After making a joke about his work as a guard, Hak Sung confesses he was the one that taught Jai Wu math and presents the printed thesis as proof that he didn't leak the test. He also reveals that it was Mr. Kim that leaked the test to his private students, which causes Mr. Kim to leave with anger and shame. Then Hak Sung shares a bit of his story. He defected North Korea so he could study math properly, because his own government was using his research to build weapons. He wants his math to be used to find jobs and get into good colleges, but such greed cost him his son's life. Hak Sung is ashamed of his choices, yet Jai Wu never saw him that way, and stayed loyal to his secret until the end, even if it would cost him his future. Crying, Hak Sung apologizes and thanks Jai Wu for believing in him, and such speech makes Guy Cheel, who has been listening all along, leave without even asking about the TV interview. He does however, wait for Hak Sung outside and offer him a ride. After throwing away the smartphone he gave her as a gift, Guy Chul reveals a little surprise to Hak Sung, a new legal passport that shows Hak Sung is a South Korean citizen and one that the NIS allows. A ticket to get him out. City. I won't find him for a while, Guy Chil will probably get fired, but he thinks it's worth it. Some time later, Guy Chul visits Jai Wu and gives him the gift that Hak Sung left for him, a famous pen and the first draft of his essay. Three years later, Jai Wu and his college class visited the famous Oberolfitch Research Institute for Mathematics. Hak Sung works there now, and Jai Wu surprises him with strawberry milk and a hug before getting into a long discussion about math. That's all from the video. I hope you liked it. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, if you want exclusive movie recaps from different genres, like and share this video. Go ahead, it's free. Thank you for watching.